Hey guys, Martin here from Mattress Clarity. So it's time to buy a new mattress. There's a lot to think about and where do you even start? Well, I'm here to help with that today. I'm gonna talk about mattress sizes, mattress firmnesses, mattress feels, mattress types, and how to buy a mattress in store and even online. It is a lot to get to, so let's hop in. Let's start off by talking about the different types of mattresses, starting with Inner Spring, the most old school mattresses. They are called Inner Spring because they feature springs in their construction and their support layers. This makes these mattresses very bouncy, so easy to move around on, very supportive, especially for heavier weights, and very breathable, a lot of airflow with these mattresses. But there are some drawbacks as well, namely they're not always the best with pressure relief, and preference-wise, if you like more of that slow-moving feel, you're not gonna get that with an inner spring mattress. Then you have memory foam mattresses, probably the most popular type of mattress right now, specifically if you're looking at online mattresses. But what makes them so special? Well, it's really all about that kind of slow moving feel you get with memory foam. When you lie down, you slowly sink in, it kind of takes the shape of your body. Makes it a great idea if you are a side sleeper and need more pressure relief, you deal with pain issues, or if you're a back sleeper who likes some good contouring. But there are some drawbacks to memory foam mattresses, namely they can trap heat. The viscoelastic chemicals in the memory foam trap body heat, direct it back at you, making you sleep hot at night. They're also not as responsive as other types of mattresses, so you may feel stuck in the mattress. And last, they're also not always the most supportive. Looking for something more eco-friendly, you might wanna take a look at a latex mattress. Latex mattresses are known for their all natural materials, they're better for the environment, and they're also really supportive as well. But their benefits don't stop there. They're also very cooling. Latex foam does not trap heat the way that memory foam does. And they're also more durable. They're good long-term investments. But there are some drawbacks with these mattresses. Namely, latex is not always the most pressure-leaving material. Also, it can be quite pricey. And if you like more of that kind of slow-moving feel, you're not gonna get that with a latex mattress. And last up, we have hybrid mattresses. Now, hybrid mattresses are going to give you the best of both worlds, the support of coils and the pressure relief of some foam on top of the mattress, whether it's memory foam, poly foam, or latex foam. They're a great option if you want some good pressure relief, but you're also a hot sleeper, so you get pressure relief on top of the mattress, but with the coils, some good airflow. Also, I think they're a good option for heavier people who still want good pressure relief, again, with those coils, but they can be pricier than their all foam counterparts. But of course, there are other types of mattresses out there. You have air mattresses, smart mattresses, hammocks, if that's how you wanna live your life. And if you want all that information on different types of mattresses, head over to mattressclarity.com for the full written articles. So you've decided on what type of mattress you wanna get. And the next thing you wanna think about is what size mattress you want to get. Let's take a look at the different mattress sizes right now and who they're a good fit for. So first off, you have the twin mattress. This is their smallest mattress option besides some even smaller kids' mattresses. These are a good option though for children, for some teenagers who are on the smaller side, smaller adults, and people who are very limited on space. And they're not a great option for tall people like me. I'm 6'7". If this is all you have in your guest room, do not invite me over. Then you have the Twin XL mattress. So a Twin XL is going to be six inches longer than a Twin mattress. This is a better option for taller children, also teenagers and those with more of a narrow bedroom. Again, some adults could also fit on these, but keep that in mind if you're like a bigger person, you might want to look for something even larger. So full-size mattresses are going to be wider than twin mattresses. These are a great option, I think, for individuals, adults who sleep alone, also larger children and teenagers, and those who are still limited on space but want some more kind of room to move around. Then we have queen-size mattresses, the most popular size of mattress. These are 60 inches wide and 80 inches long. These are a great option if you sleep alone and want a lot of room to kind of spread out. This is what I use even at 6'7". It's a good size for me. And it's also a good option for couples who want a little bit more room to move around but can't splurge quite for a king-size mattress. Then you have king-size mattresses. So king-size mattresses are going to be wider than queen-size mattresses. These are a great option if you have some more space to work with, a good option for couples, or if your kids sometimes share the bed with you, or maybe your dog or different pets, a king-size could be a great option. 
Last up, we have California King mattresses. These are going to be narrower than king size mattresses, but they're also going to be longer. These are a great option for taller couples, taller individuals, and those who have more narrow bedrooms. And there are other types of king mattresses as well. You have like Alaska king mattresses. They're like 40 feet wide by like 50 feet long. They're absolutely enormous. I've always wanted one, but they're a little bit out of my price range. Now, a big thing you wanna think about when you're looking for a new mattress is mattress firmness. What firmness is right for you? Specifically, what firmness is right for your sleeping situation? Now, our scale is one to 10, one being the softest, like sleeping on a cloud, and 10 is kind of like sleeping on a rock, and six and a half is the industry standard for medium firm. But let's take a look at each sleeping position and what is right in terms of firmness for each sleeping position. So with back sleepers, if you sleep on your back, you wanna look for something close to medium firm, right around that six and a half point mark. That is going to be a good option for back sleepers because you get a good balance of comfort and support. Your hips will sink in the right amount. They're not pushed out of the mattress. You feel some good lumbar support, good overall support, and maybe some good contouring on top of that mattress. Now, side sleepers wanna take a look at something on the softer end, so less than 6.5, around five and a half or a six, or maybe even softer. That's because for side sleepers, it's all about pressure relief. When you're on your side, all of your weight is kind of concentrated on your shoulders and your hips. So you want to relieve pressure buildup in those areas. You want some of the soft layers right on top of the mattress. But at the same time, you don't want something that is too soft because if your mattress is too soft, it could take your spine out of alignment and cause back pain over time. You want something to keep your spine in good neutral alignment whenever you're sleeping your back, side, or your stomach. And speaking of stomach sleeping, if you are a stomach sleeper, you want something on the firmer end, something closer to a seven and a half, an eight, or maybe even a nine like the plank mattress. The whole idea with stomach sleeping is you want something very supportive across your entire body and supportive under your hips. You don't want your hips kind of bowing down into the mattress, again, taking your spine out of alignment. It's all about good neutral alignment at all three sleeping positions. There are some other things you wanna think about when you're looking for a new mattress. First off, you wanna think about cooling. Specifically, if you're a hot sleeper. If you often wake up in the middle of the night kind of hot and sweaty, it might be due to sleeping on the wrong mattress. So you want a good cooling mattress. Now, usually memory foam mattresses are not the best for hot sleepers, but some will feature some cooling materials like some infusions in that memory foam or phase change material on top to kind of dissipate heat. You definitely wanna make sure that memory foam features some kind of cooling features as well. Now, a really good option usually for hot sleepers is going to be latex mattresses. Latex foam does not trap heat the way memory foam does. Also, you get a latex hybrid with coils in it, a lot of airflow there, a very good option for hot sleepers. But besides getting a good mattress, do take a look at some cooling bedding, cooling pillows, and cooling sheets as well, making sure you sleep cool throughout the night. You also wanna think about your weight when you're looking at a mattress, specifically if you are a larger person like me. So I weigh 270 pounds. I need more support than a person who weighs 130 pounds needs. So I need something with probably coils in the construction to hold my body. And I also need something more durable because my extra weight puts more strain on the mattress. So I wanna keep that in mind if I'm looking at a mattress for my weights. Now you also wanna think about durability in general, no matter what weight you are. If you're gonna spend a lot of money on your mattress, you wanna make sure it's gonna last for a good amount of time and be a good investment. So when it's time to actually buy your mattress, you have two options. You could buy in store or online. When you're shopping in stores, a couple things you wanna think about. First off, you wanna go in after having done your research. Do not go in kind of flying blind because those salespeople will take advantage of you. I am terrible with salespeople, I'm an easy mark, so whenever I'm buying a mattress in store, I like to go in after doing all my research. Now, one of the benefits of buying a mattress in store, though, is you get to try out the mattress. So take advantage. Sleep on as many mattresses as you can in that store. Try it out in different sleeping positions and don't let the salesperson rush you. Now, once you decided on what mattress you want, make sure you get all the warranty information when you're in the store. You don't wanna kinda leave there and realize you have no warranty or a one-year warranty and also ask the salesperson what that warranty covers. And lastly, I am terrible at this, but be prepared to negotiate. When you're in the store, you might be able to haggle with the salespeople in terms of extra features you get, maybe some pillows or some sheets. Go in prepared to negotiate. 
But you can also buy a mattress from home, and the internet is great. You can buy Burt Reynolds DVDs, you can do your taxes there, you can even buy mattresses. And Bed in a Box mattresses are fantastic. They're very convenient, they come right to your house. But still, you wanna think about a few things when you're buying an online mattress. First off, again, do your research, but you are doing your research right now. We are here to help at Mattress Clarity. We also have great reviews, comparisons, and roundups as well. Make sure you find the right mattress for your situation. You also wanna get the best deal possible. We've got some great coupons here at Mattress Clarity. Also, you could shop around sales time, so around holidays like Memorial Day, July 4th, or even Black Friday. And lastly, make the most of your warranty and your sleep trial. One of the drawbacks of buying a mattress online is you can't try the mattress out first. Now, it comes often with a sleep trial, so for like maybe 100 nights or up to 365 nights. Make sure this mattress is right for your situation. So you're gonna sleep on it every night, and if after 30 days it's not comfortable, you're waking up in pain, send it back, get the right mattress for you. Ooh, there was a lot to get through. There's obviously a lot to think about when you're looking for a new mattress, and we hope this video is helpful to you. We also have some great resources on mattressclarity.com and some great coupons as well. We'll see you next time.